Good day to everyone. In view of our continuous pursuit towards professional development, I was tasked by our school to provide my insights, interpretations, and knowledge with regard to the crafting of budget of work. Let's take a look at the objectives of our presentation. The trainees are expected to understand the concept of budget of work, to recognize the purpose of the budget of work, and finally, to craft or even amend the prescribed budget of work of the Department of Education. Let's define first what budget of work really is. It is a resource material for teaching multi-grade classes that contains K-12 basic education curriculum competencies, skills, and objectives. It also includes topics for specific skills and competencies and teaching strategies, activities, and time allotment arranged into columns for easy reference and notation. What else? It will serve as the teacher's reference in preparing daily and or weekly lesson plans. What is the purpose? What is the spirit behind the creation of the budget of work? It helps us teachers to be much more regimented in the performance of our duties. It gives us an easier platform to prepare our lessons, particularly the daily or weekly lesson plans, because we are following a certain pattern that is prescribed by the Department of Education. So it will be easier for us to navigate, perform, and detect the progress of our students because there is a certain time frame that is set by our institution. So there will be no lessons that will be left off because we are following a much more strict or much more stringent structure in teaching our lessons. Now, we must also remember that in crafting or editing or amending our budget of work, it must be juxtaposed, it must be applied, it must be in conformity with the most essential learning competencies. MELs are the most important learning competencies in each learning area and grade level needed by each learner to learn, understand, use, and apply in an environment situation of varying contexts. These are defined as the competencies that a learner needs for a continuous progress towards subsequent grades and ultimately a successful life. Now, once again, in order to craft, amend, or personalize our budget of work, we must consider that our budgets should be firmly juxtaposed with the most essential learning competencies that was purposely narrowed down by the Department of Education to address the fortuitous events that are consistently occurring in our country. As a matter of fact, this project was already set forth years before the global pandemic. Now, what are the characteristics of... Uh, our MELCs. It is aligned with the holistic Filipino learners with 21st century skills. They connect the content to higher concepts across content areas. It is based on real-life situations. It cannot be expected to be ordinarily learned by students if not taught in school. Let's talk about the features of the budget of work. The matrix of the budget of work shows the most essential learning competencies that every learner is expected to achieve at the end of each quarter by grade level. It is presented in four columns. The first column, the letter A, represents the quarter in the grade level. The second column shows the continuous numbering of milk per grade level or quarter. That's the letter B. Then the third column, letter C, states the learning competencies of the MAP, MELC, or MELC with prerequisite skills placed before the terminal objectives of the numbered most learning competencies. Lastly, column 4 presents the number of days to be taught that the MELC must be realized. 
Moreover, the teacher, before amending or crafting his or her own a budget of work, he must consider the following factors as well. Check the milk or LCs to be taught in a particular quarter. Take note that the first LC or set of LCs in the bow becomes, or budget of work, becomes the first lesson to be taught in a quarter. Next, determine if the milk has enabling competencies or skills that must be mastered. First, prior to attaining the terminal competencies or milk or the LCs, which are not numbered in column two. They must also design their lessons using the, the budget of work, considering the number of days these LCs must be taught, the instructional objectives to meet the learning targets or goals of the lesson, the appropriate teaching strategies, approaches, methods, specifically the use of models in teaching, and the alignment of the designed learning outcomes to exhibit the mastery level in the achievement of MELC and deliver the L LCs as specified in the budget of works per quarter using varied platforms of teaching and learning modalities or even blended learning. Now, this is an example of, the, of a budget of work, specifically my subject matter, the ESP or Education sa Pagpapakatao. So as you can see, with respect to the milks or the pinakamahalagang pamantayan sa pagkatuto, it is a continuous numbering. Ibig sabihin, hindi pagkayari ng unang markahan, yung pagbibilang dyan, hindi na, mag, hindi na hihinto. Nagbab, magbabaktuan sa second grading o sa ikalawang markahan. Tuloy-tuloy po ito. Tuloy-tuloy po ang pagnanumber sa ating pinakamahalagang pamantayan sa pagkatuto o sa milks. Now, with respect sa pamantayan sa pagkatuto o learning competencies, ito po'y karaniwan na nating makikita sa mga modules na pinamamahagi po natin sa bata. And it's up to us po kung gaano uh, kahaba o gaano karaming bilang ng araw ang ating ilalaan doon sa particular na learning competency na yun o learning competency, co competencies na yun. Provided that we conform to the number of days that is prescribed by the Department of Education. Halimbawa po dito po sa ESP Department, 25 days po ang prescribed days na kailangan po natin ituro ang subject matter per grading period. So may kung meron po tayong four quarters, 25 days each, meron po tayong 100 days per school year. Yan po ang prescribed. And it varies depending depending po on the subject matter. Uh, based on some of my readings, I've conducted some readings uh, with regard to science, math, English, and the like, 40 days po. Uh, 40 days per quarter ang ipinagkakaloob po ng Department of Education para maituro po ang lahat ng subjects per subject. Ang lahat po ng uh, topics per subject. So ulitin ko po, 40 40 days per grading sa ibang mga subjects. With respect po sa ESP, sa akin po yung pinuturo, 25 days po ang prescribed ng Department of Education. So, ayan po. Nakikita po ninyo, dumating ang ikalawang markahan, nag 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Ibig sabihin po, tuloy-tuloy ang pagbibilang. At nagbabari din po yung pinagkakaloob natin, yung inilalaan natin araw per topic. So kung makikita niyo po dito, two days. Sunod, one day, one day, two days, two days. One day, one day, one day. Pero alalahanin po natin na kailangan natin maituro hanggat maaari ang lahat sapagkat ninarrow down na po ng Department of Education yung ating mga competencies na dapat natin maya, uh, makita na maisabuhay ng mga bata. So yan po yung ating budget of work. Ito po ay nagsisilbing gabay lamang sa paglikha natin ng ating mga lesson plan, either daily man yan or weekly. So that would be all. Uh, maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikinig at uh, mag-ingat po kayo palagi.